in this next video, we're going to take a look at some tools that are available within X3 to help uh, purchasing managers and receiving managers to identify purchase orders that are past due or and or purchase orders that are expected to be received uh, on a particular day. So the first inquiry that we have uh, to help with this process, if you come under your purchasing menu, then go down to your inquiries block, then to orders and order lines. In this inquiry here, um, you can filter it based upon the activity in a certain company um, if it's a particular product that you're looking for, you could filter on that, a particular supplier. Um, otherwise, we can go ahead and run it wide open here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the start date. Uh, I'm just going to blank that out. So basically, it'll go back over you know the total history up and through this cutoff date. And over here in the status field, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the closed option. So in this case, it's only showing me those uh, orders that are not closed. Okay, so go ahead and do a search. And that'll go ahead and populate our grid for us here. And you'll see here one of your primary columns is the expected receipt date. So you could go ahead and click on that column to uh, sort of descending by the expected receipt date. So in essence, it's going to show you the most past due orders first up through your current orders. Okay, so again, this can be one useful tool to enter to identify the companies that are pat that have orders that are past due, um, as well as what those respective products are. Okay, so that's one tool. Now the second tool that I want to show you, um, we call this the receiving worksheet. So to get to this one, we can come down under our reports menu, then go to reports. And the report code that we're looking for here, it's the NA-REC work, okay, receiving worksheet. Okay, so as it relates to your parameter specification, I'm going to go ahead and run it over this time frame. And again, you could sort it, um, you know, based upon supplier, order number range, revision number, and site. In this particular case, I'm just going to run it wide open. We go ahead and click on the print button. And when we execute this, this in part will, and again, this is going to show you uh, your purchase order number, the supplier number, you know, reference number. And down in the grid here, you sh this shows you all the products along with the expected date of receipt. Okay, so this report here can be a useful tool um, for somebody working in the warehouse who is planning on, you know, scheduling all the different trucks that are going to be needed to be unloaded during the course of a particular day. Um, this tool is very helpful for that. Um, and again, also the uh, purchasing manager could use this for purposes of, uh, you know, identifying the orders that are past due and then go ahead and follow up uh, with the supplier to check on the status. And that concludes uh, the lesson for today.